Back then, he was a powerful presence on the world stage. Re-elected in 1918 by a landslide at the head of a conservative-dominated coalition, he was a key mover at the Paris Peace Conference. This is when Lloyd George earned the famous title, The Man Who Won the War. But did he lose the peace? The first half of 1919, Lloyd George was here in Paris negotiating what would become the Treaty of Versailles, dealing with the post-war German settlement, thinking about things, for example, like how much the defeated Germans would have to pay in reparations. The question is, how successful was he? I think Lord George did play an important role. He believed very strongly in the British Empire, and he believed strongly in promoting the power and influence of the British Empire. But he was pragmatic, and he knew that a continent which had a disaffected, perhaps revolutionary Germany at its heart would not be a happy place. He also knew that Britain's prosperity in the end depended on trade, and one of its great trading partners before the First World War was Germany. So you have a peace settlement which I think wasn't that bad, but the German public thought it was deeply unfair, and so did the German elites, pretty much right across the board. And so the treaty was never accepted. It was always seen as unfair. And that was going to be, of course, an absolutely poisonous issue in between the wars, and one of the things that Hitler used to get himself into power. There are issues in Lloyd George's character that I think we do see recurring in leaders across the 20th century uh, in terms of overconfidence. And when you look at Lloyd George in the post-war moment, he is a very good diplomat, but the skills you have as a wartime leader are not the skills you need for necessarily making the best peace. And actually, he continues to play the war leader right into the post-war period, and it's an absolutely fatal mistake. Here in Versailles, Lloyd George dominated the international scene, one of the most powerful men in the world, literally redrawing the map of the world. But back home, things weren't going so well. As we know from recent history, a coalition between the Liberals and the Conservatives was always going to end in tears. <laughs> 